That is good coffee. Are you serious out there? Well, let me tell you something. God is serious. He's shaking things up. Now, I've got a question. Could the North Korean hydrogen bomb that we know created a 5.1 earthquake, but could it also have sent some kind of ripple and affected the tonic plates around the world? Here's why. We have had 66 earthquakes. Look at this list. 66 earthquakes in the last 24 hours, most of them after the detonation right there, the detonation of the, of the hydrogen bomb in North Korea has set off an unbelievable chain reaction. Maybe. I've seen days like this before, but I mean, this is unbelievable. So Jesus said we would see these earthquakes, but is it possible that this has caused a chain reaction? Now, here's what the deal is. We've had, and we just had a 4.5 earthquake, Southern California, just about uh, 10 minutes ago. Get this, 2.9 earthquake, California, 4.1, Chile, 4.9, Indonesia, 4.6, Japan, 4.7, Papua New Guinea, 4.6, Vanuatu, 4.9, and then a 5.0 in the Philippines. 3.3 3.3 British Virgin Islands, 2.8 in Alaska, 4.8 Indonesia, 5.9, strong quake in the northern Marina Islands, 4.9 in the northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge. There's been a 3.1 in the British Virgin Islands, followed by a 2.7 in Puerto Rico, followed by 3.3 British Virgin Islands, 4.2 Greece. Then 2.7, California, 2.5, and 2.6, Oklahoma. A 4.5 earthquake hit Columbia. I want you to notice how many different places in the world this is happening. Then, last night, 5.1, North Korea, from an explosion of a hydrogen bomb underground. This maybe set off, I don't know if it did or not, some of it yes, maybe no, but we had a 2.5 California, 3.3, 3.1, 3.2, 2.8, all in the British Virgin Islands, 2.7 Alaska, then 3.1, 3.1, 2.7, again, the British Virgin Islands, followed by a 3.2 U.S. Virgin Islands, followed by 3.3, 3.2, 3.1 and 2.7 all in the British Virgin Islands. 5.3 earthquake hit the Pacific Antarctic Ridge, 4.7 in Papua New Guinea, 2.9 in uh, Canada, 3.2 British Virgin Islands, 3.8 Oklahoma, 3.0, 2.6 British Virgin Islands. Then a 2.7 in Puerto Rico, followed by a 3.1 in Oklahoma, followed by 2.8, 3.3, 3.0, all in the British Virgin Islands. 4.9 earthquake, then in Papua New Guinea, followed by 2.5 Alaska, 2.6 Wyoming, 3.1 British Virgin Islands, 2.5 Alaska, 2.9 Oklahoma, 3.3 earthquake, British Virgin Islands, 4.3 Indonesia, 3.2 British Virgin Islands, 4.6 in Chile, 2.8 Mexico, 2.8 Oklahoma, 4.6 earthquake, Indonesia, 5.3 in Mexico, 2.9 British Virgin Islands, 3.0, Alaska, and we just had a 4.5, Southern California, and they felt that one, and a 3.7 in Oklahoma. 66 earthquakes in the last 24 hours, including in the detonation of a hydrogen bomb in North Korea. Something biblical is going on here with the signs of the second coming of Christ. The Bible says in the last days, 
false Christ and false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdoms against kingdoms. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes, earthquakes and earthquakes and earthquakes and earthquakes in diverse places. And all of these are the beginning of sorrows, just the beginning. And then you're going to be persecuted, thrown in prison, some of them put to death. And because iniquity abound, the love of many is going to wax cold. But when this gospel is preached into all the world and witnessed unto all nations, then shall the end come. And when you see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whosoever readeth, let him understandeth. I'm telling you, we are living in the last days. Do not miss today's live broadcast. We will keep you up to speed. We're getting information now. Uh, just got it in a second ago that the, the Taliban in Afghanistan is saying, oh no, there's more than one U.S. Special Forces dead. There are tens of them. And we know that this fighting went on for nine hours before another rescue attempt came in to get the two wounded and the one dead American out of there and still the U.S. Special Forces were still pinned down and were trying to destroy the one helicopter that blade had hit the wall. So I don't know. I mean, are we getting the whole story here? From the U.S. lamestream media. 